Hello, this is Todd Baginski. I'm a Microsoft MVP and the partner and CTO at Canvas Consulting. In this video, I'm going to give you an NN demonstration of the Sales Buddy Power App Sample Template. If you haven't seen it yet, there is a video that I have out there that comes with the documentation on how to install the Sales Buddy Power App Template, and it walks you through step by step how to install it. After you've installed it, you will see it appear here in your apps list and power apps, just like this. Now, this particular power app actually uses several different pieces of Dynamics 365 where it gets its data and where it stores it. And it also sends Outlook emails through the Office 365 Outlook connector. When you run the Sales Buddy app, it looks like this on the opening screen. The Sales Buddy app is designed to facilitate a CRM scenario where the person using the Sales Buddy app, me in this case, is a person who's selling a product within a store. Perhaps I'm working in a furniture store and I'm helping customers as they come to the floor. I can use this app to find products they're interested in, learn more information about those products and communicate it to the customers, and then send those customers a follow-up email with information about that customer. Additionally, I can also capture their information as well as make opportunities and sales leads and CRM all within the app with just a few clicks. Let me show you how it works now. So let's say I'm on the sales floor and I just had a customer come up to me and that customer says, hey, I'm interested in some more information about this product we're looking at right here on the sales floor. I can first locate that product within the catalog inside a CRM using the Power App. I can look by category for the customer. For example, if I look at office goods, you can see here the data is returned from Dynamics 365, and there are four different categories in the office goods category. However, if I flip up to the all categories column, you'll see there's 109 different results. Now to support this app, we've loaded in 15 different pieces of furniture that support this scenario. And here you can see what they look like. So if I click on this mobile pedestal, for instance, here, I can see the SKU for it, the barcode number, which we're going to come back later to when I actually scan in one to locate it, how much it costs, the color it is, the size, the lot size, all kinds of other information about it, including important things for me to communicate to the customer, like, do I have any in stock? In this case, I have 32. And if I don't have any in stock, how many days until my next shipment so I can let them know when it'll be ready? Let's take a look at where that data came from. So if you're new to Dynamics in Office 365, here's how you can actually go locate that data in Dynamics after you've installed your Dynamics trial or if you already have an instance set up. First, come to the portal.office.com homepage. It will redirect you here. Then click on the Admin app. Once you're in the Admin Center, expand the Admin Centers and click on Dynamics 365. That will open this page here and show you all of your different Dynamics 365 instances. Then you select the one that you're working with. In this case, it's Canvas-Demo, and you click Open. Once you click Open, it will open up the Dynamics 365 instance, and then you can dig in and look at the information. So here are the different products that we're querying. Remember there were 109 all together, and we can see that here in Dynamics as well. The 15 that we added to the sample data that you import when you work with this particular Sales Buddy Power App includes the 15 at the top here. If I select on Athens Desk, for example, it will open this page. This has all the details about that particular desk. And again, notice the barcode. 0, 1 through 9, then 0, 5. I'm going to actually scan in that barcode via the Power App to locate this in just a little bit. So let's head back to the Power App now and take a look at that and return to our scenario. So now we're in the scenario where the customer said they were looking at this particular product and they were interested in it. So what I'm going to do is then add that to the saved products. So this is the products that we have saved so far. I could go ahead and email the customer at this point, or I could ask them if there's more products they're interested in and then add them. 
let's pretend in this scenario that the customer says, yeah, I like this pedestal and there's also something else I'd like to look at. In that case, we can click the add more products to find more information. We can also search by keyword here to locate a product. For instance, we can look for a chair and filter on chairs. And now here's all the different chairs we have. Each one of these filters is mutually exclusive. I can either filter on a category, buy a keyword, or I can scan in a product as well. Let me show you scanning in a product right now. To scan in a product, I click the scan barcode button. This brings up the barcode scanner, which as you can see is actually the camera associated with the device you're running the Power App on. In this case, it's my webcam hooked up to this web browser. So here on this piece of paper, I have a barcode. And if you look closely at the numbers, you can see that they are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 5. That matches that Athens desk we had. So I'm going to hold that up to the scanner and click scan. Bingo. It immediately found it in the database and returned it back. And you can see the results is 0, 1 through 9, 0, 5, just like we saw on the actual barcode itself. So there's an example of how we actually locate products by using the built-in scanner control with the Power App. So now I can actually click on that product there, see the information about it, and also add it to the saved products. At this point, I'm ready to email this information to the customer because this is what they're interested in possibly buying for their home office renovation project. So then I'll hit email selection. Email selection will allow me to look up customers in many different ways. When I look for customers here, I can search by name, their email address, their company, or their phone number. For example, if I want to find someone at a given company, I can look for that account within Dynamics 365. Let's use Microsoft, for example. Then I click Save, or Search, I should say, and here their account record comes back. If I flip back over to Dynamics CRM and I look at the accounts, here we can see the different accounts that are registered in this instance. And there's the Microsoft account that I just found. We can also search by name and phone number and email. All of those pieces of information come here from the contacts. Let's use the second contact right here as our example. So returning to the Power App, I can then flip over to name and I can enter that person's name or part of it. Then I click the search button. Again, now we've gone out to Dynamics 365 and we've located that particular customer inside our Dynamics instance. Now I can select that customer. I can also add additional recipients here. These recipients will be searched from the contacts within Dynamics 365. I happen to know there's two Alex's in that instance, so if I type Alex, I can see both of their names. I also have the, object, uh, the option here to send uh, the subject as well as the body of the email I want to send that person. So I'm going to call this subject the home office renovation. And then I can enter the message that sums up our conversation we had in the sales room and in this case encourages the person to try to order to take advantage of free shipping and a holiday sale. Now at this point, we also see the two different items that we have uh, selected that the customer is interested in. And if I click Create New Opportunity, that's going to create a new opportunity for that person in Dynamics 365. I can also send myself a copy, which will send a copy to the currently logged in user. Now I click the Send button, and that email will be sent and Dynamics 365 will be updated accordingly. Once the Power App has everything done, it lets you know and it says your email has been sent. You can click on the check mark and return to repeat the process again. One other thing I'd like to point out is on Find Customer, if you click Add Customer in the top right, this gives you the ability to add a new customer to your Dynamics 365 instance. Clicking Add to Mailing List will set the flag in Dynamics that says they've opted in to receive email from you so you can send them targeted email campaigns. 
If I go back over and open up my message from Outlook now, I can see the message that was just sent by the Power App. Here you can see the message that I typed into the app at the top, and then all the different information about the two products that are included here. And it also signs it automatically with the current user's name at the very bottom. You can extend this app to actually send the images as attachments if you'd like to do so. Let's go take a look at how that updated things inside of Dynamics 365 now. I'm going to flip back over there and I'm going to go to the contact for Mr. Cook. Notice on the right there's no recent opportunities for Mr. Cook. I'm going to go ahead now and refresh that page and show you the new opportunity that was added by our Power App. Once the page refreshes, we see the opportunity here inside of the list and now we're able to click on that opportunity right here. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page, or pardon me, right here in the middle, if we click right on that opportunity, now we can see the information about that particular opportunity that was created, as well as the line items associated with it. As you can see, this is a pretty powerful concept for a Power App that integrates directly with Dynamics 365 and also integrates with Outlook to send email. We hope that you get a lot of good use and patterns out of this Power App, whether it be learning how to integrate with Office 365, with Outlook or Dynamics 365, or even just learning how to use that scan barcode feature. We also look forward to hearing about how you extend this to work for your own scenarios. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.